Good morning folks, hope you're well. If you're anything like me when it comes to signing players on so rare, 99% of my sign-ins are based purely off stats. Those stats generally come from sites like so rare data, footmob, etc. However, there are times I will sign players based on valuable information that I have obtained and more specifically when it involves my football club in real life who I support, Leeds United. Now on transfer deadline day, Leeds were dealt a huge blow by losing Louis Sinistera to Bournemouth on loan. Had he stayed, he would have been the best player to have ever played in the championship in my opinion. He would have been a cheat code and I've got no doubt Leeds would have finished top two and probably won the league. However, that was not the case. Like I said, he's far too good for championship level, hence he wanted to go back to the Premier League. Now, he signed for Bournemouth on a season-long loan, and as part of that deal, Leeds had Jaden Anthony. And up until that time, I had no idea who this guy was. However, listening to the CEO, the manager of Leeds United, Daniel Farker, had Jaden Anthony not been involved in this deal, then Sinistera might have been forced to stay at Leeds against his will. I've also listened to podcasts from Bournemouth supporters they were also surprised Jaden Anthony was involved in this deal because they expected him to be a pivotal figure in their Premier League campaign this season he started two of the first three games and played a majority of the games last season for them now like I said I've listened to interviews from the CEO Daniel Farker etc I have got no doubt that Jade and Anthony will play a massive part in hopefully getting Leeds back to the Premier League on their first attempt. Like I said, he has featured prominently for Bournemouth over the last season or so in the Premier League. But even more interesting to me is his stats when he was playing in the Championship for Bournemouth. He's classed as a forward card, however, he's more of a winger. The season. The Bournemouth gained promotion back to the Premier League. He started or played 45 games and I believe he scored 7 or 8 and assisted 7 or 8. So he has calibre, improving calibre in this league. If he was to hit those sort of figures in terms of goals and assists for Leeds United this season, I've got no doubt the prices you see on screen for him now will be a lot higher. Now, as you see on screen, I have been busy trying to buy as many as I possibly can before producing this video for obvious reasons. I just wanted to share this information with you just to give you heads up and the benefit of either knowing about the club you support, having good information and knowledge on it, or following people that follow other clubs who have, because at times stats will not show you how good value a player could potentially be and in my opinion Jaden Anthony for a starting forward in the championship so he's going to play far more games than most players because obviously the championship play a lot more games he is an absolute bargain another plus is there's only 48 rare cards that have been minted I don't believe while he's on loan at Leeds any more can be minted so if he does start performing well there's going to be uh, good demand for him which will ultimately push his price up now I'm biased obviously support Leeds Leeds United are not going to be struggling in the championship this season they're going to be one of the top six going to be one of the top six sides in the championship this season and most games especially home they should dominate and create plenty of chances the benefit with the card currently I play a lot of the cap leagues. His last 15 is low at 34. So for the first few weeks, you can take advantage of that and put him in a cap 220 or a cap 240 league. And in all honesty, I do not see many negatives, if any, about Jaden Anthony. Now I'm recording this video on Sunday the 17th. Leeds in a few hours are away to Millwall which is probably Leeds' toughest away game of the season. It's a fucking horrible place to go and play, support your club. I hate the place. I hate Millwall. So I'm not convinced he's going to start today. However, 
in the long run, like I said, I am convinced, listening to Farka, etc., this boy will be a regular starter for Leeds United. And for a regular starter, forward card in the championship, rare for 40 quid, or under is an absolute bargain in my opinion. Well, I hope you find this video useful. Please do your own research and best of luck. See you soon.